You've likely heard the terms 32-bit and 64-bit when shopping for PC hardware or checking software compatibility. But what do these terms actually mean and what's the difference between them? That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. 32-bit and 64-bit are terms used to describe the architecture of a computer's CPU and its operating system. These architectures determine how much memory and data the CPU can process at a time known as memory addressing. Memory addressing is the process in which the computer's CPU and software interact with the computer's memory or RAM to read or write data. Memory addressing involves specifying the location of data in memory, allowing the CPU to access and manipulate that data. A 32-bit system can address a maximum of 4 gigabytes of RAM, so the CPU is only able to access and use 4 gig of RAM at one time. As the CPU can use this much RAM at one time, they are not well equipped for handling resource demanding software. A 32-bit system would not be good for running a large spreadsheet, gaming, editing videos, or really anything that involves more than some basic web browsing and word processing. Only very low budget machines such as some Chromebooks and older machines still use 32-bit architecture. A 64-bit system can theoretically address an incredible 16 million terabytes of RAM at once. Obviously, no device in the world comes close to this limit currently, and won't for decades to come, but the important thing to note is that it can make use of more than the 4 gig of RAM that 32-bit systems can. 64-bit systems are backwards compatible, meaning they can also run old pieces of software designed for 32-bit systems. 32-bit systems may struggle to run 64-bit software due to their RAM limitations. So if you're looking to do any kind of even slightly resource-intensive task, a 64-bit system is the choice for you. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.